Many solicitors are unaware that they can apply for silk, but I'm here to tell you that you can. It's a commonly held misconception that only barristers and not solicitors are eligible to apply. Fewer solicitors are realistically able to apply, but that is because few can provide sufficient evidence of oral advocacy in complex situations. If you have got sufficient evidence of this, you are completely eligible to apply. This is a key part of the selection criteria and must be satisfied to become a successful applicant. It can also be challenging to provide evidence of your personal contribution to written advocacy, as you may not be the person who signs off the final written submissions. This is especially relevant if your written advocacy is produced as a team effort. However, as a solicitor, you have a lot to offer and in some areas you may actually find it easier than barristers to demonstrate what the QC selection panel is looking for. For example, solicitors find it easier to demonstrate excellence in the working with others competency. This is because they are often accustomed to working in bigger teams than barristers. The QC process requires applicants to prove they can establish productive relationships with others involved in a case, including clients, the judge, and other parties' legal team, while also demonstrating the behaviors expected of advocates. Due to the nature of work for a solicitor, they sometimes find this particular part of the process easier to demonstrate than barristers. Once the solicitor advocate is at the stage of applying for appointment as QC, they're likely to have reasonable evidence of leadership as well. Leadership forms a significant part of the competency framework that applicants are measured against. It's also the case that many solicitors' firms are more advanced than barristers' chambers in establishing procedures for demonstrating diversity. If you have played a significant part in introducing diversity arrangements, you may well find it easier than some barrister applicants to satisfy the diversity criteria. You need to ensure that you plug any gaps in your advocacy experience before you even think about applying. If you can't demonstrate this at the application stage, there is little chance of you proceeding to interview. If you're not ready yet, Spend time planning your career and proactively seeking advocacy opportunities so you're ready to apply in future. Go to lawsociety.org.uk forward slash QC to find out how.